Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another early, fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys and Target. And today, I got a whole host of new action figures to check out and show off for the upcoming Holothon 2022, which starts March 18th. Some have already started hitting stores early, right? But a lot of new figures, various brands, very exciting. The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Ultimate Wolfman, black and white edition. You can grab him along with... Already, the 40th anniversary of the Evil Dead, Ultimate Ash. Demona glides in for the new Gargoyles action figure line. And, of course, a new four-pack of Turtles, in case you missed the old ones. Nice pickup right there. But this guy, this is the one. This is this is cool. We'll talk more about him in just a few. But if you are interested, Holothon starts March 18th. And for those in the U.S. of A., you can head over to Targets and to Target.com. That way, you can grab everything either online or in the store. And for international peoples... Starting March 18th, you can head over to holothon.com and grab everything you need as well. So, this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at a ton of new action figures from NECA Toys in conjunction with Holothon 2022. So, let's get started. And then, of course, last but not least, you have my favorite of all the figures we've looked at, mainly because it's a brand new character for the Turtle line, right? One that we have seen in action figure form before, but this one is truly Mirage all the way around. This is Sal, or Professor Honeycutt, or, as he's better known to everyone, the Fugitoid, the original fugitive robot. Now you get the name, wink, wink. Very awesome. Look at that. Cell shaded graphic glory paints going on right there. Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Very nice, cool photos of the figure on the back of the packaging, including one of a Ninja Turtle. Hopefully, they'll re release those at some point because it looks like they're going to be having some more characters that come in. They've already kind of shown these off, but it's nice to see them using the original artwork, as is Eastman's artwork of the Fugitoid on the sides of the box. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, and here's the barcode as well for when Fugitoid starts to hit shelves, and you can scan and have them look for you in the store. Very excited about this guy, as you could probably tell. So enough talking, let's get him open. And here he is all out of the packaging, and I'll tell you this. He's the Fugitoid, and he's basically a Ninja Turtle accessory pack all in one. Now, to give you the down low, the Cliff Notes version of who the Fugitoid is, you have at some point in the early Ninja Turtle Mirage comics, they go into space, right? They get transported. They meet up with Fugitoid. Fugitoid kind of had his own series going on at the time. Very cool one-off kind of thing. There is a scientist named Professor Honeycutt. He has a robot helper named Sal. Sal goes out in the field. He gets damaged. Professor Honeycutt goes out to help him. And lo and behold, they get struck by lightning. Before Professor Honeycutt dies... His mind gets transported into the body of Sal. And when the military that Honeycutt was working for finds his charred corpse, they say, wait a minute, that robot must have killed Professor Honeycutt. And the chase is on. You get what I mean? And at some point when the turtles get transported into the home world, the Triceratons, all that jazz. And together they team up and uh, it's a pretty interesting, graphic, bloody comic. It was definitely fun to read as a child. Totally didn't mess me up whatsoever <laughs> but this new fugitoid is really cool now he does come with the let's say triceraton handcuffs or you know restraints it's very cool to see it's beautifully recreated i actually really like that they did that hopefully it fits on my ninja turtle figure that's uh, we're definitely going to try the guns are straight out of the comic book right very cool nice blues Nice blacks, very graphic, very Jack Kirby, right? Very cool to see that, as is this weapon. I like all the straight lines. Everything just looks crisp and nice. Everything's painted beautifully to the nines. Really standout weapons right there. And then you have this weapon. This is the Triceraton Blaster. It's a very classic weapon. The Ninja Turtles use it to escape multiple times. It's very cool. Eh? They've, they've done a beautiful job there. You get extra hands for Professor Honeycutt. 
gun holding hands, fleeing hands, right? He's usually running away. That's the whole sitch. Now this one's not really Fugitoy related. This is more from a one-off Donatello issue where Donatello meets the artist, the famous artist, Jack the King Kirby, or just Kirby. Be careful with these little black nodes right here, whatever they are, just go easy on it. I'm really hoping, I know it fits the Fugitoy, but I'm really hoping that it fits my Ninja Turtle figures. That's gonna be awesome. And then you have the Fugitoy himself. And the way that it's painted, just the look. We've had many different Fugitoid figures in the past, but this guy rocks that glorious graphic looking paint style. And I just think that they nailed it. He's got the big glowing yellow eyes. He's got the one face portrait. That's all he needs. He's one expression. He doesn't change. He's a robot, right? Every little detail on this guy is beautifully painted. I just love what they did. He just looks like a living Kevin Eastman art piece. It's just very cool, especially when you have him in hand, you'll see it. And he's got some interesting articulation to him as well. As far as the head goes, you get plenty of mobility. It'll go up, it'll go down, it'll go side to side. So he's very cool. He's got the neck, which then goes to the ball joint for the head. So lots of movement, lots of rotation in that sense. The arms, because he's an android, right? They'll mostly go up and they'll go down. But as you can see, he doesn't have any joints as far as in the knees or in the elbows. His hands will swivel, you can swap those out, but he has bendy wire, arms, and legs. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh man, is that gonna do anything to the paint? I can tell you honestly so far, I really went to town, flexing it up and down and left and right, trying to see, for the most part now, no, no problems. What happens in the future? Can't really tell you how you do it, how you flex them, how you take care of your figure, it's all up to you. But as of right now, and really working with this guy, it seems to work. He is a little bit loose in the top diaphragm joint, a little bit looser than I would prefer, I'll be honest with you. It's not terrible, but it's also not like tight. Yeah, it's a little bit tighter, you know. He'll kind of rotate there as well. Just like the shoulders, the legs will go up and down. He has bendy wire knees, legs, which do form fit the aesthetics of Fugitoid, right? He'll swivel, he's got nice treads on the bottom of his feet. It's just, it's a very cool figure. Again, NECA does this so well. All the cartoon figures look like they walked right out of the cartoon. He walked right out of the comic book. He holds all the weapons beautifully. In terms of the comic, Fugitoid doesn't really use these guns, right? Mostly the Ninja Turtles and everyone else that they're fighting. That's who uses these weapons, even their strengths. At no point does the Fugitoid get restrained. It's all the Ninja Turtles behind their back, so we'll definitely check it out. And also, getting him into this position with the restraints, with the bendy wire, is a real pain. And I'll tell you this honestly, the whole time I'm doing it, I'm thinking, oh man, this is gonna scratch the paint. I had no problems scratching the paint, but it's largely a pain in the butt to get his arms into this just as it is. Then you have all these guns and weapons and the Donatello Kirby machine. Hey, little looks great. It all fits, it all works with him. So if you wanted to put this device on his arm, it'll definitely hold it oh so nicely. If it's from another comic I'm not aware of, so be it. But as far as what I know, yeah, that comes directly from the Donatello issue. And if you have the old Mirage Turtles that NECA did years back, well, he can hold that Triceraton Blaster oh so well. I absolutely love the way that that looks. He can hold all the guns, right? It's basically, like I said, it's a Ninja Turtle accessory pack. So if you do have these figures, hey, oh so great. And honestly, with the Triceraton restraints, once you pop the hands off the original Mirage neck of Turtles, it actually does fit. And it, again, it looks like it came right out of the comic book, right? It looks really awesome, especially if you have some Triceratons. Dang, they look good all put together, right? You're just missing that little breathing apparatus that kind of uh, goes into the turtle's mouth. Now, in the actual comics, the restraints are actually behind their backs. Unfortunately, with the reach and everything else, you're not gonna be able to do that. But if you wanna go ahead and restrain your turtles front-wise, definitely works. But I'll tell you what actually does look pretty dang awesome. Straight from the comic book cover, yes, it will fit onto your NECA Toys' Mirage Ninja Turtles figure. You kind of have to, it's kind of wiggle it onto his arm, just kind of shove the arm in there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, once you got it, you get it going. God dang, that is just so cool that they put that in with this figure. And that way, yeah, you can use it with your other prior released 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And likewise with the other two guns, they'll hold those beautifully as well. Straight from the comic books they are. If you have the prior release cartoon Triceratons with these turtles, with this Fugitoid, I mean, for the most part, they'll work. They're not exactly comic book accurate, but they're close enough. They're really cool Triceratons. If you just collect the cartoon turtles, I'd say that this Fugitoid goes really nicely. It just fits with that whole graphic aesthetic. And just like the old Playmates toy, that's why I said yeah, there's so many iterations, but the original Playmates one, you can see what they kept, what they changed, but that is Professor Honeycutt all the way around all day. And if you really want to jazz up your collection, right, you can have the older Playmates toys, Xanormon, Turtle Space Cruiser, uh, that fits really nicely with the whole Mirage aesthetic. Fugitoid goes well. You could put both figures in the cargo hole if you wanted to go that route, or you could put them up front flying the spaceship. It doesn't matter. But in either case, that's a really cool looking Fugitoid. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at all the Holothon offerings thus far. A lot of great toys, a lot of great brands, a lot of cool things are happening. Don't forget, Holothon officially starts March 18th. So depending on when you see this video, there might be stuff out now, right? Maybe check the stores, just FYI. Or uh, they will be hitting your local Target stores soon. Now remember, if you're in the United States, you can hit up Target or you can go on the Target app. And for all the international peoples, you head over to holothon.com and you can grab all the different toys like each and every one of these that we went over today. And I want to say thank you to the people over at NECA Toys and of course Target for sending these over for the purposes of giving you guys this early fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly remember, bring on the turtles, baby, and then the gargoyles. And, and just keep those coming. That's cool with me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.